Gotcha. Unveiled. The informal phrase explained. Hello, dear viewers. Today, we're diving into the world of English colloquialisms to understand the meaning and usage of the phrase, gotcha. This is a common phrase you'll hear in everyday conversations, and by the end of this video, you'll know exactly when and how to use it. Gotcha is a contraction of got and you. When broken down, got is the past tense of get and you is a pronoun referring to the person being spoken to. Together, they become got you, which then slurs into gotcha in casual speech. Primarily, gotcha can mean 1. Understanding a realization, used when someone has understood what another person has said. 2. E.g., the meeting is at 3 p.m. tomorrow. Gotcha, I'll be there. 3. Capturing or catching someone, often used in games like tag or when someone is caught doing something they shouldn't. 4. E. G. A child running in a game of tag might be caught by another and hear, gotcha. Gotcha isn't limited to the two primary meanings mentioned above. It's versatile. 1. Clarifying or asking. Sometimes, it can be used as a question, seeking verification. 2. E.g., you're coming to the party tonight? Gotcha? 3. Expressing surprise. If someone reveals a surprise or unexpected information, gotcha can be used to express that sudden realization. 4. E.g., someone hides and jumps out to surprise a friend, shouting, gotcha. Like many English phrases, context is vital. Gotcha is informal, so it's crucial to use it in casual settings. Avoid it in formal situations like business meetings or official documents. Also, note the tone when, gotcha, is used. It can convey different emotions based on the context, from playful to serious. And there you have it. Gotcha is a fun, informal phrase that can add flavor to your conversations. Whether you're expressing understanding, capturing someone in a game, or conveying surprise, gotcha has got you covered. We hope this explainer has been helpful, and the next time you hear or use gotcha, you'll do so with confidence. Happy speaking!